Reducing table salt can have some health benefits, but it can also leave you short on iodine and flavor. Doctors say there are ways to make up for this important mineral. Consumer Reports took a look and a taste at some salt substitutes that can help make your taste buds happy. I'll usually use some dry herbs, some lemon juice, um, or apple cider vinegar. It all depends on what I'm making. Marcia Cameron has high blood pressure, so she finds ways to cut salt. However, cutting iodized salt can mean shortening yourself on an important nutrient, iodine. Our bodies are unable to make this mineral, yet it's key for a healthy thyroid. Dr. Carlos Navarro, a cardiologist in New York, says table salt may be a good source of iodine, but it makes more sense to get this element through the foods we eat. If you can, just get your iodine from natural sources, fish, shellfish. Just try to get things that are from the sea. Most of them are the ones that are like rich in iodine. But if you're still craving that flavor boost from the salt shaker, Consumer Reports tested some popular salt alternatives that have less sodium than salt and some even supply iodine. At the top of the list is a light salt, which is a blend of iodized salt with potassium chloride. This tasted the closest to table salt with half the sodium. MSG came in second with 60% less sodium than salt. It adds umami, which bumps up the taste of your food. Nutritional yeast added a good savory flavor, but potassium chloride salt turned out to be quite bitter. Seaweed flakes have lots of fishy flavor, but don't add much saltiness. By the way, a teaspoon of this provides all the iodine you need in a day. Experts say most of the sodium we consume comes from salt in packaged and processed foods, and this is often not iodized. Also, popular salts like sea, Himalayan, or kosher salts are not good sources of iodine.